Hello. They don't waste any time, do they? Who's they? The hate-filled bigots. Who are uh, a matter of less than 24 hours after the attack in London. Already claiming it's the Muslims. They're, there, they're out there already, aren't they? They've, I've read posts, I've read stuff on Twitter and whatever already by them. Some of the worst ones I've read are where the hate becomes a sort of shorthand. You have to transfer the hate into... <coughs> excuse me. You have to transfer the hate into words. So you contract the word Muslim, and you get, well, one of the ones you get is Muzi. Yeah, Muzi. I've spelled, I've seen it spelled M-U-S-S-I-E, and uh, the slightly more Americanized form of hate on that one, or just xenophobic bigotry, is um, M-U-double-Z-I-E. So we've got American spelling bigots, racist bigots, and we've got English spelling, British born xenophobe. So, but a contraction. Notice that hate and xenophobia and stuff like that contract, and they find little buzzwords, click words, buzzwords, words that are just going to get you straight to what they want. Another nice contraction uh, was used against me when I was a kid. Um, is from Pakistani, although I am British by birth, from Pakistani you get Paki. Another contraction. Ha hate and bigotry contract. Paki. I mean, there we go. I guess it was what we expected. I don't guess. I know it's what we expected. Everyone expected them to go online for this. Channel 4 have also seriously got it wrong, claiming the attacker was the brother of a hate preacher, or was a hate preacher, or whatever, and it turns out the guy is still in prison. As I said on a post earlier, I think perhaps they may just have let him out for the day, a bit of sort of, you know, day release. And as long as he promised to be back by lock-up, then he can go out for the day, borrow a car, and kill all these innocent people. Please, even if it is Muslims who did this, even if it is Muslim terrorists who did this, don't fall for this ignorant garbage of just being a racist hate machine. Hate all Muslims. Like saying, I don't know, hate all Jews because the Jews killed Christ. Yeah? Or, okay, you know, even if it was, even if it was a Muslim fanatic that did that, well, as I've said on Facebook already, and I'm sure everyone's read it, right? What if it was a white person wearing a pointy hood and a white sheet and was in fact a member of the KKK. Would they be not surely described as a um, Christian terrorist? Worth thinking about really, isn't it? Tends to be a lot based on the old colour of the skin. Don't, those of you who I no, are good, decent, wonderful, amazing Muslims. People who believe in God as much as I do. People who believe in justice and fairness and helping others and helping to save this world and make it a better place. People like Muslims who have done my heart surgery to save my life. Like Muslim and Arab and foreign and Polish and whatever nationality doctors I know, please, but particularly Muslims, please don't feel that you instantly have to start apologising.
we know who you are. And we, the good people of this country, know you are decent people. We know you're as outraged by this as any one of us would be. We know you are praying and thinking of the families of all of those involved. But please, let's uh, let's just try and let's just try and not so much respond to the racist bigots as just call them out. Call them out for what they are. It was indeed a sad day yesterday. Some tremendous things happened. For example, the action of our police service and our emergency services was incredible. My praise and thanks to them. The uh, MP who tried to save this person's life, amazing. So, not a terrible tragedy. Of course, absolutely terrible. But in the midst of that, we still saw goodness. Please, think of and pray for those who suffer as a result of this. Thanks and bye.